Welcome, welcome. So I just wanted to show something cool I found in the car. Uh, we've known about this for a little bit, but uh, so it's the Hyundai Palisade 2020. Uh, the reason why it's dark out right now is because I want to show you the um, cool walk it features. So now this is on the SEL model and up. I don't believe it's on the SE model. So this is the SEL base. Uh, so just clear, just wanted to let you know. And uh, what it is, it's the walk up light. And so what's gonna happen is you're gonna just notice on the door handle, there's a light that lights up. And on like other fancier vehicles, like the light shines down from the mirrors. And I was hoping that's what it was. So you can like see the ground. So you're not like falling off the curb when you're walking up to the car, but it shows the handles. And so I have the um, remote start. So this is the SEL package. The SE does not come with a wireless start um, slash push button start, um, but the SEL does. So this is the SEL base. And so look, I'll turn off the light and I'll walk up. So there it is. Wow, it's the door handle. So there's a little, LED right there. And you can see how it's lit up. So that's just the door handle lighting up. I don't know if the other ones light up, like the fancier, um, the limited back here, but this is just on the driver's side and passenger side. And then of course you can unlock it and then there's the light and then everything lights up inside. Um, I'm gonna pause the video and jump over to the other side. This so also works for Nissans um, for like activating your horn when you lock it or not activating your horn. You simply press the lock and unlock. This also worked for my Kia Optima. I had a Kia Optima, it was a 2011. And so um, with this, so if you, I'll show you. So right now it's set up for my family. So when you unlock the car, it unlocks all the doors. And so we'll demonstrate it. So lock it one more time. And then obviously I'm gonna unlock it and then see it, it works. So, however, if you held the lock and unlock, this also works for Kias. Oh, hold on, the Kia's trying again. So, there we go. All right, and then wait for it. Wait for the flasher. There we go. Now it's activated it to where the lock and unlock feature works for one press, door, two presses, all doors. Um, reason why is I think they did this for like security purposes, like if you're in like a, a scary place or if you're single, individual by yourself out in the parking lot and you're worried about getting mugged instead of like unlocking it and then everyone else gets in the car so you like this is unlocked right and then that's not locked i mean that's not unlocked excuse me so just a cool little thing to have so let's go ahead and reset it back for my wife and so oh crap okay let's try it again okay there you go all right hold it all right there you go okay so unlock okay let's go over here Look at that. So set back to my family mode is what I call it. Um, something cool, if your car ever dies, I was reading on this in the manual, I was like, how the heck? It comes with this spare key, it's inside, like the physical key, it's inside, you just click this over and it lets it, lets it slide out. But I was wondering, like, what if the car dies? If this doesn't work, how do I get in the car? And if you look, what's really cool is it's right there and it's hidden back there. And in the owner's manual, it explains how to unlock it. And you use your key and you shove it in the slot right here. And then it, it pops it pops this off and then you're able to stick your key in there. I think it, they did a great job hiding it and that the ability to be able to unlock it with your key is great. So um, that, yeah, I just wanted to show you the cool feature of the key fob. I'm gonna pause it and hop inside. Okay, again, I apologize for the mess. Yes, I need to clean my car better, but it's my wife's car. And I try to clean on the weekends, but this weekend I was busy. Something you want to talk about, the reason why, uh, I, oh, another reason why I chose the Palisade over the Telluride is it's not like a major reason, but like a small reason, this is like a perk, is I love the electronic e-brakes. I feel like it's such a luxury feeling. So like you just apply it. So listen here, ready? I'm gonna turn it on. Oh, oh yeah, doesn't that sound awesome? And it won't let you release it until you start the car. But the Telluride doesn't have that, has an actual handbrake, so rugged feeling. Um, but what I've noticed with the Hyundai Palisade is when it's parked on a hill, um, sorry, my light is too bright for my hand. Um, when I'm parked on a hill and I put the vehicle in park, the car will automatically engage the e-brakes, so that way you're not like bouncing on the transmission, which is really hard in a vehicle. 
Uh, someone taught me the way. The correct way is you put your car in neutral, apply the e-brake, then put it in park. So that way your car is resting on the e-brake and not the transmission. Uh, so with this car, it automatically does it. I think that's awesome. Uh, I don't know if it automatically releases it. I always just look, even though my wife hates it when I apply it because she doesn't pay attention. And it shows up on the dash, but she's just like, oh, I'm trying to back up, but it's not working. But she's not a car person as crazy like me. But yeah, that's the cool e-brake feature. And uh, that's, that's good. And then we have our basics here. So our lights, um, parking sensors, uh, excuse me, not parking sensors, parking sensors are over there. This is your blind spot indicator. And then your line, keep the car in the lines. And then your, um, let's see here, this is your traction control. So uh, if we hop in here, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. So something with the car, again, SEL, push button start, dual climate. So let's go ahead and get this on. I'll turn this off and this off. So if you're ever stuck in the snow, um, something I like about Hyundai's, the other vehicles, like I have a Nissan Pathfinder, so I always like to compare this to that. Oh. Uh oh. Hi. Hello. Whoops. Uh, my, wife, <laughs> my wife's inside using the phone, and so it picked her up. Anyways, uh, so if you press the traction control, it automatically it kicks it off and it says traction control disabled. I don't know if you can see that. Let me try zooming in and refocusing. We'll see if it'll focus because I'm using my wide angle lens. So I'm going to turn it off. There you go. Traction control disabled. That's the traction control. And then, so that's handy because if you're stuck in the snow or if you're about to gun it out of a parking lot, you can turn that off. And then that way you don't have any wheel slippage in your car engine, like cutting your power and the brakes engaging. But it's handy if you're like making a corner and well, the, actually it's a little bit different. Actually that will help with that. But something with the Palisade, excuse me, the Hyundai, I'm gonna compare this to my Nissan with the traction control. So turn it back on. So traction control is back on. And then obviously, so that's pressing it once, traction control disabled. I'm gonna turn it back on and then hold it. And then traction control disabled, then traction control and stability control disabled. And I guess it automatically turns off my forward collision. So you don't wanna turn that off. But what this does is it makes it so you can do like donuts and stuff in the parking lot and also drive out of control if you make a corner really fast. So don't do that. You wanna drive with all this on. So simply, we'll just turn it back on and that's it back on. So that's just something interesting about that. Um, I wanna show you the uh, cool little feature that's inside. It's just it's just like a small little niche. It's nothing huge, but just something I noticed. Uh, we gotta back the car out, so hold on. Okay, we have backed the car up out of the garage so I'm not exhausting the house. But something I noticed on um, the drive, uh, so park, reverse, neutral drive, something I noticed that was really cool, even though it's like buttons, they still simulate like you sliding and into gear. So when you have like a standard shift knob, I'm gonna turn my light on, and you shift it from park, you'll cycle through from park to reverse to neutral to drive. And something that they did here, even though this is all digital, you think it just goes park to drive, is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the light here so you can see it, but it'll cycle from park, reverse, neutral, then drive. So ready? You see how fast it did that? That was pretty, that was like a cool color. So like, it's that cool look. So I have like reverse LEDs on the backup camera, excuse me, not the backup camera, but the reverse lights. And uh, I really like when it cycles through the park, uh, the gears that it flashes them like a standard vehicle. So it's going from drive neutral reverse to park. So we're in drive right now. I'm gonna go back to park and you'll watch it go from drive to neutral to reverse back to park. So see that it's like boop, 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 back up there. So. That's just a, a cool thing I've noticed with the vehicle. Um, let's go ahead and show you my other one that's pretty, uh, it's a good fave I really like. Um, is the So this is the all wheel drive model. And if I change the screen here, you can see there, this is indicating like it's putting power to the front wheel or power to the rear. And the part that I noticed that was really cool is I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and put this in neutral with us. See, there you go, is we're gonna cycle through. Okay, so you see there's a little car there. Something I thought was really creative is they made it, the front wheels turn with the wheels on the picture. So like I'm turning the steering wheel right now and the little image in there shows you the direction of your wheel. And so see how it's tr cranked to the left and then we're gonna go back to the center. So we're center now. Let's even come up here and then get a better angle. Okay, so we're center now. Um, let me just take my lens off, I apologize. Okay, come on, focus, focus. Work with me here. 
All right, I'm gonna turn down the brightness. This isn't working, but okay. So center, right, and then turn. See how it's turning the wheel? Isn't that fun? And this is the SEL model with the base like heads-up display. So if you get like a fancy one with like the fancy uh, dash, there's three different dashes on here. Um, so this is the SEL base. And so it's just like instrument cluster, screen instrument cluster, basic entertainment center. Um, other ones are instrument cluster, bigger screen, instrument cluster, and then you can get fancier screens. And then on the limited, that's the one where it has like all screen, super fancy screen, and it has like the blind spot monitor, like with the camera where you like turn on the signal and it like tells you like, oh my gosh, there's a car there or there's nothing there because it's just showing you the empty space. But don't know how that is because I didn't buy that one, I bought this one. So I like this one. It's still, again, upgrade from what I had before, which was the Hyundai um, Santa Fe Sports. So um, let me go ahead and put this in.